I'm telling you a, a little old story from back in the 90s, you know, when we had um, not wireless phones, but, um, and uh, yeah, you, you remember this. Uh, I was working uh, at IKEA as a developer, and um, <clears throat> in the IKEA, we, uh, we had um, all the stores were, uh, were accessible through, uh, uh, f by us, through an admin account, which means that all the stores had the same password and login. So it was really easy for us to just access any IKEA store in the world. This is crucial for this story, so, yeah. <laughs> so, for instance, um, store name MHS11 was the mail order system. You know, when you're going to IKEA store, you uh, place a home delivery order. You have done that, probably some of you guys. And uh, in that case, that order will be placed in that store. MHS 11 in Elmhult. Since if you are going to a store in, in, in Helsingborg and uh, you're living in Malmö, in that case, that order will actually be delivered by the Malmö store. So that's why. And uh, so we had different store numbers, like MHS 10 was Elmhult, for instance, and uh, 12 was Stockholm, 13 was Helsingborg, and so on. It was quite easy to access any store by doing this. And the um, system, uh, home delivery was uh, a mail order system was placed in Elmholt. You could, um, um, <clears throat> so the, the, do the data from uh, was actually owned by each uh, store. So they put the orders, but the the right order information was in the uh, in the stores. So um, Elmhult store had just a copy of that order. And remember, this was in the 90s. So um, the bandwidth was something between 64 and 256k kilobit, which is we are talking about gigabits today. And, or megabits, and we do not talk about kilobits in a way. Uh, but the IKEA had the, their own network, so we were safe, sort of, in a way. And um, one other thing is crucial for this story is that each night IKEA had a night batch, so a, a, a procedure of, of, um, of um, of programs that were that was running that was importing information from the for price changes or deliveries or, or or campaigns or that type of information. So the we have the data update and at the same time we synchronize the, all the mail orders with all the stores at the same time. <clears throat> By doing that. And in the end of the night batch was the start of day. Normally the start of day was run by uh, something like six o'clock in the morning, or in a big store it was run like eight o'clock in the morning. Anyway, it was up and running until IKEA stores was open at roughly at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, my job was to implement a new order system. We should remove the old, the old system and we should replace it with a new one. So the first step was to um, was to migrate old order order data uh, up to new order data, which was done in a big script. It was two thousand lines of code, and um, so we thought it was easier to do it through a script. So I wrote a script about it. So it transfer all the data. Everything was really good. After we transfer all the, all, all the order data, I, we verified that the order data was okay. And in the end, we deleted the, um, the old order data. So 
and we done it. We did that at many stores. So, um, so one week before the one week before my vacation, one week vacation, I um, we should change the order data in one store. It was in the store. Um, Called so this this is all this let's assume that this is, this is all the stores in the, at, at IKEA so we should change it in one store in Almholt so we run the first script we verify that that everything worked in Almholt oops sorry and then I succeeded deleted everything in in Almholt. <laughs> so remember what the, day, the night batch did? It synchronized all the mail order data. And the owner of the data was the stores. Which means that, that all the stores try to access mail order to say, uh, is my data all okay right? No, your data is not all right. All right, in that case, send me all the data. And uh, I was on my vacation. <laughs> so what happened when, you, you know, the, 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 you have the bandwidth of uh, like 64K or 256K. So absolutely nothing happened. The lagging was enormous. So everything stood still. So, which meant that the, um, the, the night batch didn't went through, which meant that no computers was working in one week. <laughs> and I didn't notice anything. <laughs> Because we didn't have any mobile phones, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> lessons learned. Yeah, of course, we changed our routines, of course. And so, uh, one script created the other script to avoid human errors. So, because it was just a number. So, it's, it was a zero instead of a one. So, that was because we, yeah. And um, so, uh, so my my advice to you guys is: uh, if you should build a process, trust the computer. <laughs> Thank you.